Oh man, Rob Halford. This is uh, one of the big four that we have determined of original metal. Come here. Give me your hand. No, other way. Sit down. Bark. Oh, that's embarrassing. Bark. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers Free. Smoke. Yeah. Dig. Yeah. Dog. What I. I got some trivia for you today. What you got? Let's see. What do I have today? As a matter of fact, um, let's see. I want to try to give you some that I think you're gonna get. Um, uh, oh God, I can't mention that one. All yeah. right. What future celebrity made an appearance as Molly in Home Alone Three? Molly. I don't think you'll get this. I saw Home Alone Three too. It had a different kid. It wasn't Macaulay Culkin. He was driving an RC car. Um, of course you would remember that. I don't know who it was though. Scarlett Johansson. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how about this? Uh, oh, who was known as Lady Soul? Lady Soul. You want me to give you a hint? Yeah. Um, old school legend. You know Aretha. God, you got it. All right. How about this? Who released the hit single Barbie Girl in 1997? What was that? I'm a Barbie girl. Hey. In a Barbie world. world. Wrapped in plastic. plastic. Yes, yeah, fantastic. fantastic. What was that band? Uh. Uh, Aqua. You got it. Oh, good. Heck yeah. All right. So. Uh, me and you. Make that word long. You, <laughs> you'll, okay. And keep going. You you'll get it. You will. Uh, uh, man, blank should have done that. You should have done. Uh, y'all. Uh, all um, right. <laughs> all right. Uh, first letter in uh, Virginia. V. So add that to you. You've. Okay. All right. Uh, Yellow. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, all right. Uh, bro, guess what I just did? Hey, bro, guess what I just done? Uh, uh, hey, uh, man, I I blank. I got blank. One of those two. Uh, all right. Uh, you've got. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, you said got. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. Give me a blank one, a blank one, a blank one. DJ Khaled. Okay, all right. Another uh, one. Okay. Uh, You've got another. Uh, come on, it's a phrase. So, you got another think coming? You got it, my friend. <laughs> all right. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. Have a good sight. Leave us a comment. Tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. Comes directly from you. Right down in the comment section and over on Patreon. And today, we have another wonderful suggestion from one of our wonderful Patreon members who goes by the name of Dakota, Dakota Thigpen. Thigpen. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to you, Dakota Thigpen. OG Trash Talker. Been here for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Again, if you guys want to support us, Dakota Thigpen has shown you the best way to do that, and that's through Patreon. And to all our Patreon supporters, we greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. Do you have another thing coming? Another thing or think? Thing. Oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things. Like, I check the mail every day. Something shows up. Do you check your mail every day? Yeah. Dude, I I go like months without checking my mail. Really? I'll open my mailbox. It'd be like this tall. I feel like the... But you got like the, the big mailbox. No, where it's just like a little... You don't have like the, the big box where... All the people's yes, boxes are yes. in there. Yeah, see, mine's right there at the end of the driveway, so I drive by it every day. Man, I mean, literally, I'd be feeling like the the mailman, be like, God dang it, I'm good in there. <laughs> oh, okay, got it. <laughs> it's like the one at work. Yeah, but no, you've got another thing coming by iconic band Judas Priest. Judas Priest. Yeah. Tell us something, Smokey. What do you know about Judas Priest? Oh man, Rob Halford. This is a. Uh, uh, one of the big four that we have determined of original metal. And, 
Man, I've really become a fan of Judas Priest yes, lately. Yes, dude. Judas Priest is fire. Yes. The last few we covered, it's just been amazing. Do you know this song? So You've got chunky. another thing coming? No, I mean, I know the phrase. What's People the f- have always said it. I think, but they'll say like you got another think coming. Like, oh, you thought that, or you got another think coming. I've never heard that. Really? I've always heard thing, thing. You, hey, bro, you got another thing coming for you. Yeah. You've, I've I never mean, heard thing. Too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like you thought wrong, you know, something like that. I think you might have misheard that. I don't think no one yeah. says you got another think coming. Well, they say it in the context of a thought, though. So why wouldn't you say another think? I mean. Like you thought that you got another thing coming. I mean, it don't make sense contextually, but but that's why that's why you have another thing coming. I, yeah, it makes more sense to say it that way. I think you might have heard Miss. I mean, I could be wrong. Nah, I mean, I think people have said it that way. We're gonna have to Google that. Trash talkers, yeah. let us know if y'all have heard the term. You've got another thing think coming, coming. Yeah, yeah, or you've got another thing coming. coming. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But that would make more sense to say you got another thought coming. I think I it's this phrase is what the way I've always heard it and interpreted it is like, hey man, uh, you think you finna beat me? Okay, you got another thing coming. You got a like you think? Oh, you think you got a big one? Oh well, guess what? You got another thing coming, brother. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I just think like if you're using it in terms of a thought, like it makes sense. I've never heard that, and mm-hmm. maybe I'm just oblivious to it. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I could have misheard it all those years. Yes. Um. Do you think that's what this is about? Just I having, don't think so. Yeah, having something that you uh, well, uh, you uh, use the uh, kind of uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like kind of uh, like you beating on your chest. Like yeah, yeah you, you can't got beat another, us. You got, got another, another thing, thing coming. Yeah, smoked up. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Noise pollution test. with baby metal he did have like a goatee but I don't know I don't think I've ever seen him with a beard okay, my bad but most of the ones we've done hasn't had videos well this is my second time seeing him <laughs> yeah and the first time I saw him he had facial hair yeah exactly you got What's the 
tell the progression I think because this sounds like probably late 70s early 80s you know that era of metal compared to the Judas Priest we heard like Painkiller oh you're and, um, right what was the last one we did Painkiller it was a different su demon or supernatural killer uh you know the like the metal mm -hmm. angel or whatever I can't remember you look it up it right off hand huh let me look it up yeah yeah definitely but you can tell the difference in this, like the earlier work, mm -hmm. compared to that, which was more thrashy and hevel and heavy. Hevel. And, uh, hevel. hevel. Yeah. More, this is more hevel than <laughs> hevel. their previous stuff. It was heavy. Hevel. He heavy hell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, which was more thrashy, you know, like more uh, guitar-centric. So we've done Painkiller. We've done uh, Hell Rider. Hell Rider, that was it. Yeah. yeah. We've also done Breaking the Law. Breaking, breaking the, the law. law. Breaking the Law. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think we did two of Breaking the Law. Didn't we do the original and the one with yes, Baby Metal? Yes, we did. Yeah. Man, I thought, I don't know why this image is in my head, but when you brought Rob up, I'm like, Rob, right? Yeah. When you brought him up, I'm thinking like a big dude with a, a, like a goatee mustache yeah. similar to yours, almost just wider here, you yeah. know what I'm talking about? But I was wrong. Yeah. Either way, dude, Ju Judas Priest, like you said, the bi I would say, yes, yeah, one of the big four of original metal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, absolutely. When someone that, I think that's a consensus. Like, the that fourth spot is debated, but as far as uh, any, all the other three, I think it's a consensus. All right, so give me your big four of original metal. Uh, Iron Maiden, um, Judas Priest, uh, uh, Black Sabbath. And I'm going to go with Motorhead, okay. to tell you the truth. A lot of people say Dio, Rainbow, yeah. you know, whatever, but I'm, I'm going with Motorhead. Oh, Keep it in the UK. Yes, 100%. So like we said, some can argue that's where metal, that's where metal came started from. from. Yeah. It's the UK. Man, Dakota Thigpen, thank you so much for all your love and support on Patreon, and thank you for giving us some more Judas Priest. Also, guys, in the comments, let us know who your big four is of the, of original metal, mm -hmm. and let us know what's next about Judas Priest down in the comment section. Absolutely. 100%. Guys, with that being said, my name is Behringer Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowboy. And we are over and out. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces!